Darwin is on trial in one of the most unlikely places, the University of California at Berkeley. Professor Philip Johnson, in his book Darwin on Trial, concludes that neo-Darwinism is based more upon philosophy than fact. Professor Johnson presents his case before an audience at the University of California at Irvine. Good evening, and welcome to uh, Darwin on Trial. Uh, I'm Don Hoffman from the Department of Cognitive Science here at UCI. And uh, before I introduce our speaker, Professor Phil Johnson, I'd like to just tell you about the format of our program. Um, Professor Johnson will be coming up here in a moment and talking for about 40, 45 minutes on Darwin on Trial. And then we will, after that, after his talk, we'll have about 40 minutes for question and answer afterwards, so please stay for that. It, that can get very lively and uh, entertaining. Uh, okay. You'll notice under your seats there were strapped comment cards with, um, with pencils. Uh, as Professor Johnson lectures, you might have questions, comments, questions that you want to raise during the question and answer period. Please feel free to write your comments on the card so you'll be able to ask him questions at the question and answer period and fill out any of the, the uh, options that you would like to on those cards. Uh, I guess now I'll introduce Dr. Johnson. Uh, Professor uh, Philip Johnson grew up in the Midwest in Illinois and uh, went to a Midwest high school until he was finished with the 11th grade and he decided he didn't need to go to his senior year. So he went to Harvard instead uh, <laughs> and uh, went through uh, in four years at Harvard and decided to teach in Africa, which he did for a while in Kenya, uh, and then came back and decided to go to law school and went to the University of Chicago, uh, finished first in his class in, in law school. Then he went on to, uh, to some very nice positions. He worked with uh, the Supreme Court Justice Earl Warren as his law clerk for a year. Uh, and then after that, uh, ended up at uh, Berkeley as a professor of law at Bolter Hall, where he's been for the last two decades. And uh, so it is my pleasure to introduce Professor Dr. Johnson. Please welcome. I'll start tonight back at one of those universities that Don told you about uh, that I graduated from, the University of Chicago. And we'll go back to the year 1959. 1959 was a great year for Darwinists because 1859 was the year of the publication of The Origin of Species, Darwin's great classic. So 1959 was the centennial year and as that year came around, prominent Darwinists around the world thought that it ought to be commemorated with a grand gathering of evolutionary biologists. So arrangements were made and it was held at the University of Chicago. And this centennial gathering, the proceedings have been published in three volumes, um, is perhaps the greatest uh, commemorative event in the entire history of the theory. It was a triumphal occasion. The theme was one of conquest. Uh, it was one of the theory having prevailed over all oppositions and now becoming the central explanation of the history of life. The most honored speaker on that occasion was Julian Huxley, grandson of Thomas Henry Huxley, who was known as Darwin's bulldog because uh, Darwin being a retiring man uh, of ill health, uh, Huxley, took the lead in debating the theory and advancing it in public. Uh, Julian Huxley wasn't just somebody's grandson, however. He was a very prominent evolutionary biologist, one of the founders of what is called the neo-Darwinian synthesis, or synthetic theory, which is simply the modern contemporary version of uh, Darwinism uh, combined with Mendelian genetics. But Huxley wasn't only a biologist. 